once again here in Chinesky, this time uh, in, inside. And nice to have you. Can you say a few words who you are and what you're doing in Glasgow? My name is Keith McIver, but I teach under the name JD Twitch, and I'm half of Optimo, and I run our, which is a club night in Glasgow, and I run our record label Optimo Music. Can you say how long the label is running and what you've been doing so far? Well, as Optimo, we started in 1997, so we've been around a long time, and we were around doing things for many years before that. So, so we're very old, and we've been doing stuff in Glasgow for such a long time, and it's such a small, close-knit city that pretty much everyone who's doing anything in any kind of arts field tends to know each other, especially if they've been doing it for a long time. The label started in the early 2000s, but it was called Oscar then, and then about five years ago, I changed the name of the label to Optimal Music just to make it all a little bit more cohesive. So the, so the night started in 1997 and we did it every single Sunday until 2010. So it was a very, very long time. And the idea was it was a Sunday night. I'd been DJing with my partner, Johnny Wilkes. He'd also been DJing for... 10 years at that point, we were just a little bit bored with the club scene at that point. We both loved electronic music, but we also liked lots of other things. And we wanted to do a night that would reflect our different tastes, where we could dig deeper in our record collections. We thought with it being a Sunday night, people would be more open-minded to hearing different things. And for us, it was just like a, a bit of fun. We never really had any plan or expectation. And it started off on a very small scale. There was maybe 100 people there every week, most of whom we knew. And then after just over a year, it, it exploded. It was as if a, a collective light bulb went off in people in Glasgow's heads. And very quickly, it was packed every night for the next 12 years until for our own mental and physical well-being, we decided doing our weekly club was, was hard to stop. And the nights we do now, you know, the crowd is as young as ever. But, um, you know, dance music especially is very fickle and cyclical and comes and goes and at that point when we decided something I just felt it wasn't very interesting I wanted to spend my time doing other things devoting time running the label producing bands I produced some bands from Glasgow do my own music remixes whatever and how did the thing with the label come up that you suddenly are I don't know kind of scouting talents and signing acts and I mean it's a big step to do how did that I mean I always run labels right back into the early 90s and then just because the club was about live music. At that point we felt that there wasn't really an outlet. I mean there was Chemical Underground but besides that all the labels in Glasgow were either like specifically devoted to techno or guitar bands and there was nothing really in between. So all these bands would come into the club play and we were going out and see them and we felt we wanted to have an outlet for some of the local talent. So originally the label was specifically aimed at releasing Glasgow music. As time went on, that broadened a little bit, but it's still a, a core element of the label. And what are the clubs where people should go if they're in Glasgow and uh, really want to listen to, I don't know, kind of um, adventurous electronic music, I'd say? I mean, kind of very spoiled in Glasgow. It's a small city, but there's an incredible amount of stuff, especially in like underground dance music. Great clubs are the Sub Club. It's a fantastic club, which has been going for 25 years. It probably is the best sound in the city. Uh, La Chita uh, is a really great club. It's a club called Make Do. There's a club all just next door to where we're sitting now called the Berkeley Suites. Um, for bigger events, there's a place called the Arches, which is a much bigger capacity. And then there's like different events happening in small bars. There's a bar called Nice and Sleazy in the basement of that. They have great nights. A bar called Stereo in the basement of there. I mean, any Friday or Saturday, you really are. There's four or five really good things going on, usually most weekends. <laughs> 